Hey everybody, Captain Jeff here. Uh, we came down to fish the Mahi Run here in Marathon in the Florida Keys at our domicile here, our little Shangri-La, our fishing palace we call it. Besides fishing for Mahi though, we did fill the cooler up full of Mahi. We had an incredible experience deep dropping for yellow edge groupers. Yellow edge are very prized fish. They're very difficult to catch. You gotta know where their haunts are, where they live. We had an unbelievable two days of fishing filled the fish box up. So we absolutely love what we do catching these fish. We love being out here in the ocean. You feel free, but to be able to bring home some meat like this, some prized uh, seafood and bring that home for your family, there's nothing quite like it. Take a look at our adventure today and look at all the fish that we caught and look at our techniques and what we did and who we shared it with and how much fun we had doing it. It's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding. Captain Jeff signing out. I wish you guys all the best and enjoy this adventure. So we found this awesome lead line about 700 feet uh, just south of Marathon. It's the best lead line out there. It's an actual lead line with a slick that runs for miles and miles. You always want to make sure you're geared up for some mahi so you can catch them. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it around the weed patches. All kinds of juvenile mahi under weed mats just like this. There's nice weed lines all over the keys right now. Most of them are short. Under 20 inches, you can't keep this fish, it's too little. If you put them on the boat, boy, do they make a mess. For a little jig like this that imitates a glass minnow, they can't resist. Even the bigger mahi, if you come up on a piece of wood or a pallet or a palm tree, all you gotta do is throw out a little glass minnow jig and it's over. Yeah, I mean, it's still on there. It's on. Oh, good. This is a nice keeper right here. Marathon, Florida. Definitely a group with a big yellow head. Very nice. Big fat. Got him. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 25 pound yellow head, baby. That's a good rescue. Holy shit. Can't go anywhere. Go, Gaspar. Another fat hog. Good lord. Ah, another 20 pounder, 25 pounder. That's a fucking hog. No, that's a giant fucking pile! Oh lord, it's a big boy. This is going. We're out here in the Pacific Ocean. Probably have like a 13 pound largemouth bass, might even be a walleye. We're here. We got a yellow edge. Yes. Yellow edge grouper! Got him. Yellow edge grouper.
We're on again, fellas. That's all we do. Catch fish, drink beer, and stay tuned. Good job. came down this weekend for the spring mahi run with the idea of fishing for some yellow edge groupers. And we did both, but we got about 100 pounds of fish in the box over two days between yellow edge and mahis. And uh, we had our special guest Saint Shane Jackson here today from Rockledge, Florida. And his avid outdoorsman son Jackson, who's been on our boat a number of times, and he's caught a ton of fish with us. Man, that kid's got the best come around the planet, I swear to God, he catches everything. If I open up the box, you can take a look. A couple of big yellow edges in here. We've got two big boys in there. There's the big boy number one. And this is a slob. Big boy number two. My son Jordan and Jackson caught those. They're the Bash Brothers. They used to play baseball together. So uh, they also kept big groupers together. And last summer they caught the exact same pair, 228 pounders. So when we get home, we're gonna measure them, see how big they are. I think Jackson's around 30. We did end up catching a couple of tile fish today too, but we let those go and we deflated them and made sure they live. And so conservation leads to better catches in the future. And so it's two o'clock, we've limited it out, we're done, we're going in. Peace. So Jordan's doing a victory jump off the tower in the middle of the ocean to celebrate his victorious grouper catch. Damn! Tarzan! Good job. Did you say Florida man? He, I said Tarzan. We needed that some uh, some chum. Here comes Tarzan. Here. We, well, we got some chum in the water now. How'd that feel? That was pretty refreshing. I bet. I bet you it felt awesome. Just give me a spear. I'll go down and get the grouper. <laughs> yeah. Good luck diving down 700 feet. Oh <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, baby. All right, let's go. Hammer that beer. There you go. You want? Oh yeah, that boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit. Yeah, squirting. All right, very good, very good. That's our cameraman too, by the way, in case you were wondering. He does an awesome job putting these things together as a videographer. Fish gang is happening today. We're going home with cooler full. I got a potato chip turkey sandwich. And this is what you eat after you're trying to get your energy back up to catch some teeny damn fish. So now we're gonna fuel up and we're gonna go clean all these damn fish. We gotta clean the boat too and take care of the gear. We came in early at two o'clock today, which was awesome. We got done half day fishing. We limited it out, we were done. Could have caught a lot more, but you know, you don't wanna clean out the entire so you wanna catch something when you come back out later. All right, so I got the scale out for these big old fish we caught. I'm gonna start yoking some of these things out of the well. First one, oh my goodness gracious, this is a big boy. All right, let's get this one on the dock so we can get the rest. Big old yellow edge. Uh, a little bit of ice in his mouth we were cheating. Let's get the next one out. Oh, this one's a lot bigger. Oh man, he's a big boy. All right, I gotta get him off my arms here. Boom. Oh, all right, that one's definitely bigger. Next one, another yellow edger. One of the most prized fishes in the ocean, yellow edge grouper. Any good chef will tell you that that is the best tasting filet on the planet. Very prized, very hard to catch. They're open season right now, so we're lucky to be able to get them out of the ocean. We caught three today, probably could have caught more, but you know, we want to come back and catch some more later, so we don't catch everything. We got a ton of schooly mahi here. This one's not too bad, not too shabby. It's a nice little fish right there. 
good evening. Ah, this ice is cold. Holy shit. Another nice little mahi. Another nice little mahi. Another one. Holy shit, that's cold. Stick in your hand over in the ice well over and over again. It's freezing. Four peanuts. Ah. Damn, that's cold. My arm's gonna fall off. There's more in here hiding around. Good lord, another dinker. Alright, my hand can't take any more. Alright. Alright, we got another one, last one. Last one. Ah, okay. Alright, we got enough to make a sandwich, I think. Alright, that's it, we're done.